Today I want to talk to you about food production in the 21st century. According to the UN Population Fund, the world's population will grow from about 7 million now to over 9 billion people in the year 2050. The present world population uses a total crop land the size of South America. Feeding the extra 2 billion people in 2050 would require added cropland the size of Brazil. By the year 2050, 70% of the world's population will be living in cities. The way crops are grown today requires huge amounts of fresh water for irrigation. Petrol-based chemicals such as fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides to maintain efficient crop yields. Energy-consuming machines for planting, treating, and harvesting and large amounts of fuel for transportation and shipping. Just picture this. The vegetables that you buy at your local store have traveled on average 2,000 kilometers to get to you. That's equivalent to the distance from Madrid to Copenhagen. On top of it all, these crops are subject to climate risk, giving them low returns. And the percentage that does reach our cities has to be kept refrigerated for days in warehouses before it reaches the shelf. The consequence of this is that food is responsible for one-third of our environmental footprint. So you're probably asking yourself, how do we provide food for a growing world population that is concentrated in cities while reducing our environmental impact? The answer is surprisingly simple, urban agriculture. If we can bring food production into our cities and apply new innovative technologies to the food production process, we will be eliminating the need for transportation and providing people with locally grown fresh crops while at the same time reducing the heat island effect by absorbing CO2 and releasing oxygen into our cities. Technologies such as hydro and aeroponics allow farmers to grow their crops without the use of soil, therefore eliminating the need for petrochemical fertilizers and herbicides. So the question was, what can we do as designers to raise awareness on these issues? What we've been talking about was the premise for this fashion project. Thanks for listening.